Hi, ladies and gentlemen, real quick, I want to share with you on how you can get a fully funded scholarship abroad. Now, if you've been dreaming of moving abroad to study, but you don't have enough money and you are relying on a scholarship, maybe you've tried a couple of them and, you know, you know, they are very competitive and they are very rare to get that, this kind of scholarship that is going to cover your school fees, all your expenses or part of your expenses. So maybe you've tried and you've not been getting them. So this video is for you. Make sure you watch it till the end because I'm going to be um, enumerating seven steps that can help you to get a fully funded scholarship. Now, this is coming from someone who has gotten a scholarship before. You know, when I was a student in Turkey, I enjoyed support scholarship from the Turkish government. And I'm going to be sharing with you my own strategy plus the information I came across which can help you to land that dream scholarship. When showing you the seven steps on how to get a fully funded scholarship, I'm going to be infusing my own strategy, okay, how I was able to land a scholarship when I was in Turkey. So I believe that this can help you to land that scholarship that you have been dreaming of, okay. So make sure you watch this video to the end, alright, and don't go anywhere. And if you're excited about this content, please smash the like button. So welcome to my channel. In case you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Promise Breno and I am changing lives, okay? This channel is for those who don't have a lot of money and they would like to move abroad to study or to work, okay? So be sure to subscribe, alright, and click the notification bell. And if you're excited about this content that I'm about to share, please smash the like button. Welcome back on how to get a full scholarship. Now, a full scholarship, also known as full ride scholarship, is the holy grail of funding opportunities, covering almost everything for the full three or four years of your university degree. Now, this full scholarship can cover your tuition plus your living expenses. Now, these living expenses could be partial or could be full. OK, now it depends on the scholarship provider. Now, if you are able to secure a scholarship that can cover your tuition fee, your full tuition fee, plus additional funding towards your living expenses, then this kind of help you to focus on your studies and social life without worrying about money. Now, this sounds great, you know. What I consider a full scholarship is when all the tuition fee and all or part of the living expenses have been taken care of by the scholarship provider. So this allows you to focus on your studies. Now it remains to be seen as to whether the scholarship provider or whether the scholarship itself allows you to combine it with another scholarship or to work at the same time. But sadly, there aren't too many of these dream scholarships going around. All right, full scholarships are rare, and those that are available are very, very competitive. So, however, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't apply for anyone. I'm going to be sharing with you several strategies that can help you to get more scholarship. You know, if you've been struggling in the past and you haven't been able to land anyone, okay, I'm going to be showing you seven strategies that can help you, you know, that can like boost your chance of landing a scholarship finally okay now the first thing i want you to put in your mind when applying for your scholarship is know where to look know where to find those scholarships okay this is this is very 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 important so where do you actually go to find scholarships you need to ask yourself this question okay your first port of call should be your chosen university's official website okay as they may offer their their own funding opportunities for students from your location or your subject or possibly list external scholarships you could apply to. This is very, very important, very, very important. So as well as your university, you could check sites like internationalscholarships.com or fastweb.com plus, um, you know, this particular scholarship to study abroad uh, page. I'm going to put these things, these links in the description, okay, so that it can help you to search 
for scholarships okay i'm going to put them in the description all right so you need to search various places for funding opportunities for example let's open this one one of them to show you something okay just to give an example of what i'm talking about now you see here um you can find scholarship you can find loan opportunities let's say for example you know scholarship opportunities are kind of like rare and competitive but if you if you can't find a scholarship then you can also apply for a loan you know so it depends on the um agreement between the loan you know some um i think in some countries uh when you graduate then you'll be paying the loan gradually you know so it depends on the agreement there are different scholarship opportunities here where you can uh look out for and i'm going to put the link the links okay in the description below okay so um after you if you know where to look or where to search for the scholarship the next step is to prepare in advance so let's say you've already found the scholarship right and the scholarship is going to be starting let's say the first of next month and it's going to end the uh, last day of next month now is the time for you to start planning before the application starts you need to start planning for example when you check those websites and you're able to see a scholarship you're able to know the requirement the document you need to get so you need to prepare them beforehand all right this is very very important okay this is why this step is very crucial okay so if you know you will need a full scholarship to help you to attend university it's important to start preparing as far in advance as possible this is special this is especially important if you find um, if you find you need to attend an interview, okay, so some universities conduct special scholarship weekends in which 50 to 100 students will be invited on campus to attend interviews with a faculty member answering questions on their goals and motivations and how this fits in with that university and course. So if you need to attend a scholarship interview, you should treat this as you would any other formal interview. Okay, dressing smartly and coming well prepared with good man, good answers for possible questions, as well as having a few questions ready to ask them when invited. Okay, at the end of the interview. Now, this is um like almost same thing like when I was writing YEC, there were past questions that I I got. You know, I bought past questions from the bookshops and I was reading them, I was studying them, and when you come to the YEC, sometimes they repeat questions. You get it. So, um, like finding materials of previous scholars, the ones that previous scholars have used, okay, can help you. You know, in um in these days in our generation now, you can find a lot of materials on Google, on YouTube, and other places to help you prepare. Now, after you've prepared, the next thing you need to do is to work hard and keep motivated. Okay, you need to work hard and keep motivated. So, although some full scholarship will be based on financial need rather than academic excellence. Some will take both into account or only be awarded to exceptional students. It goes without saying that you should be working hard in your studies, but you will need to really put in the effort if you want to get a full scholarship. As the majority are awarded to the highest achieving students, in cases students uh, I mean, in cases universities may automatically consider applicants for full scholarships using your regular university application, making high grades crucial. While pushing yourself academically can be mentally exhausting. Try to stay motivated by keeping your goals in mind and give yourself a break every now and then to relax, especially during and after exam um, season. Now, in as much as we say that full scholarships are very rare, but <laughs> I want you to know that it is more easier to find scholarships that are merit-based, that is based on your academic excellence than the ones that are just based on financial need because we have different kinds of scholarships. There are some that are based on academic excellence that are looking for the best, all right? Or there are some that it doesn't matter if you do well in your academics or not, as long as you can provide or prove that your family are not doing well financially or you really, really need it, you don't have money, to pay, you know, so they'll, they'll support you. It's just like one of the scholarships I, I published on my website. Uh, it is the Swedish government scholarship. Um, they call it the SI scholarship. Uh, um, I think I saw an information about that one that uh, it doesn't actually require 
your um your high academic qualification even if you have third class you can get it according to somebody who has gotten that scholarship and i think he lives in sweden now so according to an information i saw all right that even with third class you can apply for that scholarship so that one is like based on i think leadership skills and there are some factors they are looking at some scholarships are just based on leadership skills okay so it's important for you to find out what exactly are they looking out for in that scholarship so that it will help you to prepare and work hard to you know to 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 get it done all right now after you've done the previous step the next step is to make yourself stand out from other applicants now we have um you know we have a few um full scholarships all right that are very competitive and a lot of people are applying for it just like the one i made a content on in finland you know that one you know a lot of people are applying for that scholarship around the world you know um by the way i have it here i have i have different scholarships on my website and this is why i'm asking you to subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you, you'll be notified whenever i drop content because i drop content i drop scholarship opportunities so the one i i was talking about is vermia in finland you know um this video is very rich and i will encourage you to see it after this video so that you um it will help you to prepare for the next application i think the next application is going to be starting in august i think but you just need to uh, keep checking their website um make sure that you stay on my channel so that you don't miss out okay now so you make yourself stand out from the other applicant very very important so with so much competition to get a full scholarship it's crucial to stand out from the pool of applicants demonstrating real commitment to bettering yourself as an individual this means having a few extracurricular activities to show off to the scholarship providers demonstrating your passions and interests outside the classrooms as well as examples of times you've got involved with the local community perhaps by taking part in volunteering work for a good cause now volunteering for free is one of the most effective ways that you can uh you can get a scholarship and also if you've played a leadership role in your community you know all these things are things that not everybody does it you know a lot of people just concentrate on the academics they don't do these other things so if you can show them that you have this other um, aspect of you that you know you can use to give meaning to other people's lives that can boost your chance all right very very important so leadership skills is very very important as i've already said there's some scholarships that are looking out for only leadership skills or maybe leadership skills and other factors okay so leadership skills are highly valued by scholarship providers and you can demonstrate this by volunteering to lead projects in your extracurricular activities or community work another thing that could really make you stand out from the rest when it comes to scholarship applications is a glowing report on your academic and personal qualities through your letters of recommendation so it's important to build strong relationships with your academic mentors if a mentor knows you well they will be able to provide a more personal and accurate reflection of you in their letter this is very very important you know um if you have a good relationship with your professors your teachers or your previous teachers you know they will be more than happy to write about you and if they honestly write good things about you that can boost your chance because anybody can just say that uh they are, they are good people but scholarship providers hearing it from other people who are not related to you who have the um who have the you know that prestige that pedigree who have that uh, title of professor or assistant professor or you know this can actually boost your chance you know of getting any scholarship um you need to also read the application instructions carefully i realize that a lot of scholarships can be tedious you know they, they can be a lot of things that you know they would like you to see but these are actually what they're looking out for they want to see those people that actually read the instruction very carefully and follow the instruction to apply and those ones that actually do this this is a big plus for them okay so make sure you read the instructions carefully then the next step is submit an exceptional scholarship essay or letter you need to prepare these things beforehand in the previous step and you need to submit these ones so even if the scholarship are not asking you to submit an exceptional essay or cover letter 
please make sure you write this one in order to stand out from the crowd. And if you want to know how to write a cover letter, I have it on my channel. Okay, you can check it on my channel, how to write a cover letter. All right, very, very important. Then after you've done that one, the next is be realistic. Okay, be realistic. The unfortunate truth is that there aren't many full scholarships to go around, to go around, and they are extremely competitive. So meaning that there are many candidates who meet and exceed the requirement for a full scholarship and they can even end up missing out. See, there are a lot of people that actually qualify for scholarships, but they end up missing out because they cannot take everybody. In as much as um, they are giving out full scholarship and they're looking for qualified people, they have a quarter. Maybe they're just looking for 15 people. And if they have 20 qualified people, they're going to find ways to sieve out some of the people so that they can just, so that they can just have those people, that, those a number of people that they want. So in order to be among the selected, you must do what other people are not doing, all right? This is very, very important. Be realistic, be yourself, be unique. If you bring your own uniqueness to the table, that can actually be the distinguishing factor and that can be the key to you getting that scholarship, okay? So I'm telling you this thing based on my own research and based on what I do when I'm applying for scholarships, okay? Remember I told you I've benefited from a Turkish government scholarship before, while I, while I was a student in Turkey. So, um, guys, I believe that these things will help you, okay? Make sure that you don't forget about, uh, you don't forget uh, the things I've talked about in this video, okay? The first one is that uh, know where to look to and prepare in advance, work hard and keep uh, motivated, okay? Make yourself stand out from other applicants, through leadership skills, volunteering, doing other things that people are not doing. Read the application instructions carefully. Then submit an exceptional uh, scholarship essay or cover letter. Then lastly, be realistic. Okay. So guys, uh, we've come towards the end of the video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I drop content. And if you enjoy this content or you benefited from it, please smash the like button and share with somebody else. Till I come your way again, have a great time. See you in my next video.